Hey, what's up, everyone? Uh, my name's Lionel, and I'm your host for LC Productions, and you're watching I Watch You Watch. Uh, we are covering uh, Raising Canaan. This is season three, episode seven. Um, I appreciate everyone for coming to my channel. Uh, please like this video and also share it. You can subscribe to my channel if you are new to my channel. Welcome, and welcome back to all subscribers. Uh, you can also leave your comments below on what you think about this episode and even my commentary. All right, so <laughs> we begin the episode interestingly, uh, with Ronnie. Ronnie and this other guy bust into the delivery guy's uh, apartment. You know, the one that's uh, uh, providing the transportation for um, Kanan to do his drug deals. So, they bust in there, and he ends up to start um, tussling a little bit with um, the delivery guy, and then Ronnie brings him to Kanan. And basically, Ronnie's like, he doesn't like that you said that you were going to go to the police and all this good stuff. Um, he says, I, I won't do it. Just basically scared him straight. At the same time, Famous is walking in. And Famous is just stunned, like, I can go away right now. But then Ronnie said, no, you, you can stay here. Um, Ronnie told the guy, just so that we're clear, oh, you're not going to the police. No. Dude ended up pissing on himself. Ronnie said, go get, get yourself cleaned up. Um, Ronnie and Kanan walked out, was about to, well, Ronnie walked out. Kanan talked with Famous for a second. Famous just said, I just came to pack up my stuff. And then Kanan ended up um, interrupting him, saying, have your stuff before um, I get back. So, Rock and the original, I'm trying to think of, you know, the cousin that Neek had to set up business in order to work with the cousin and the husband. That's who Rock had to meet with, just saying that Neek is gone. The cousin, cousin basically just says, no deal, <laughs> if no, Unique is not here. And he feels like it's more trouble uh, than what it's worth. And basically, Rock just states her place. You know, I can do this and do more than what he was going to do, blah, 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 blah. So the cousin is giving a Rock uh, two months to prove herself. If not, then she's out. All right. So Ronnie and Kanan come back in before Famous gets all of his stuff. And Ronnie is intimidating him. Basically, like, first, what are you taking up out of here? And he says, my stuff, blah, 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 blah. I hear that you like to talk. Kanan tells me you like to talk. And Famous, very nervously, I don't talk. Like, Kanan, why don't you tell them? Kanan says, for the most part, he does not talk. It was just like Kanan wanted him to squirm. There's this new confidence and arrogance that Kanan got since Ronnie then came around him. <laughs> you know, at first I was tolerating Kanan this season based upon what his mom did but now uh -uh, dude shut up <laughs> all right so howard is talking with the task force they are looking to get some information on marvin um he's also howard is seeing that detective Payne is talking to scrappy's mom remember lou told scrappy's mom what actually happened to her son um and as the task force dude wanted some answers from Howard. He says, you know, Detective Payne is more uh, developed as to what's going on with Marvin. He can answer more questions for you. He grabs Detective Payne and they switch office, offices. So now Howard has to talk with Scrappy's mom while De Detective Payne is with um, the task force dude. Force dude. So, of course, mom tells everything to them. But Howard is working for Rock as a favor. All right, so Marvin is going over, I think his name is Glenn, um, home, and then he finds two girls that are just sitting in the car. And it's wintertime. <laughs> and basically, he's like, what's going on? Da, 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 da. Um, he takes them inside. What's going on is that Glenn is on drug trip right now. He's taking drugs while the children are out. I think the only thing positive is that he didn't allow the children to see him. However, sir, no. So Marvin ended up busting his chops. Like, do you know what could have happened to those children while you were in here getting high and they were out there in the car? Another man or somebody could have came and got them or, or worse or anything. He goes into, like, him and his wife were on the same stuff. The wife got him addicted to this. When he wanted to kind of break away from it all, she ended up leaving him and the children. Um, and Marvin said, you don't have any other family? And he said, no. They turned his. They turned their back on him after finding out, after he 
was caught um, stealing. And that will do it because <laughs> nobody can trust you, sir. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, okay. So Famous uh, goes back home and talks with mom. They both apologize to each other. Um, he says he's not on that stuff anymore. And I did some things that I should not have done. And I do apologize. And mom said, I'm not going to throw you out anymore. I am so glad that Famous got somewhere safe because the street life wasn't for him. Not for real. Not for real. I don't know if he's going to tell his mom the stuff that's going on with him. Hopefully not. I don't know. But we shall see. All right. So, but uh, they are practicing right now and doing some type of photo shoot. But the manager comes back in and, and tells them that they're going to be performing at the Gardens Mall and um, um, will be opening for Shanice. I love your smile. You know that song. Um, of course, Crystal, the diva, wants to be up front. Blah, 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 blah. Anything. Anyway, so next scene, Howard goes to Rock and tells him, Lou is ratting out you guys in regards to all this stuff. And Howard's like, there's always something with you, Rock, blah, 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 blah. And Rock said, the only reason why you really in on all of this is because of your own mess ups. I can take you down if we want to go there. I love how this power struggle between uh, Rock and Howard exists. They don't like each other, but you know that they need each other uh, to survive between with this world that they're in. Um, as far as the task force, you know, she's asking, what do they got? What are they doing? Um, because they're also bringing up Marvin's name. And Howard says that they don't have any suspects. All right. So Juke is with the army recruiter and the army recruiter is trying to get her to give, like, what do you like? And she basically said, look, I was, when the recruiter came around, said that they would give us careers. I'm signing up for whatever you can to give me a career. So you have no ambition, but I think just to get out of the of the city. And that's the only thing I see out of you, Juke. Um, Rock and Marvin, they go and visit the, the restaurant owners of the Asian place. Um, and basically, they said they don't want to deal with them because they're not unique. Uh, but they said, look, he's not around. We don't know where he is. We're not a part of it. We're here to take over. And basically wanted to know, do you have other restaurants that you own? And uh, the cousin's husband ended up saying, no, I don't have any hus um, other restaurants. I don't even own this one. It's by her uncle or his uncle, whichever one. So he says he owns about 20 other restaurants. Mm. So later on, they go and visit the uncle and says that I have all these spots that you could possibly have and I want a percentage in the business. And Rock said, uh, we could definitely discuss that. I want to see all the places that you do have. Because now everything is with heroin instead of the other stuff that they used to sell, which I thought, I think it was like, um, was it cocaine or crack or something? Or weed? I, I forgot which one, what product they were actually selling. Um, all right, so we're back with Butter and all them. I, Aisha is throwing up. We don't know if this is just nervousness or whatever. Juke's in the bathroom comforting her or whatever. They go outside and you see Kanan and Crystal kind of talking to each other. Aisha, I guess, didn't see whatever. They're going to go and see a movie. And Juke at this point is kind of egging on this conversation of like, Kanan, so what you into? Da, 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 da. And all of these associates you done hooked up to, uh, hooked up with. Aisha's like, well, I don't think any of them dangerous as Juke was trying to describe them. Uh, so what they got you robbing banks? Kana's like, no, you know they don't do that stuff. I don't know how he talks with his teeth. <laughs> uh, and all this good stuff. So whatever. Aisha and Kanan, they go off to the movies. And Juke tells Crystal to stay the F away from Kanan. <laughs> and Crystal's like, whatever. <laughs> um, um, so Aisha and Kanan go to the movies. Kanan's trying to put the moves on her to try to have sex with her. And she told him twice, no, you're moving too fast. That's not what I want to do. After the second time, after he apologized, um, she said, no, I want to go home. And he said, you can go, you can get on the train. Even though he took her to the movies. I said, this trifling ninja. I said, you already treating women bad. You're like two. <laughs> but how come you treating her different than, than how you treated Davina? I mean, you were lovesick and Bow down to her. You probably kiss her feet or suck her toes if she let you, you know? So it's like, ugh, it's quite a transformation in season three. Uh, what, did that older woman turn you out? Now you think you this bad dude that just can get anybody? 
Anyways, so yeah, that was crazy. Marvin, after Rock told Marvin what Lou did, Marvin goes and checks Lou. They get into a little tussle. For some reason, Lou says he doesn't even remember that. And he's like, if I did do that, and if the police know something about it, how come they ain't at my door? <laughs> I'm like, that sounds too weird. Like, Lou, are you lying? It sounded like you were lying to me. But anyways, like, how do you not remember that? I know you were drunk, but you mean, no, no. <laughs> um, basically said, you got to go clean up this mess. Um... This next part is so, huh? Um, all of a sudden, we jump to the scene with Ronnie and the bodega lady. And she's kissing up on him, and I want you. I said, what the mess? So then uh, Vanessa, a uh, unique girlfriend, comes in, and she's like, what's going on? What, what, what are y'all doing up in here? What are you doing with this bodega lady? And basically, Ronnie said, get your stuff and let me go. You know, you don't need to be here, blah, 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 blah. Um, you're at your parents' house, so go over there. So, but Bodega Lady warns Ronnie, like, you need to look at her. You need to watch her. Um, and Ronnie says, she's family. There's nothing that needs to be said or done, blah, 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 blah. Um, she said, you know, family, enemies are dangerous, and especially when they are family. Okay. But you still have your cousin that you have all around. But whatever, sir. Or ma'am. So, obviously, Ronnie got to do something with Vanessa. All right. So, Captain Burke, Shannon's father, comes and visits Howard. He has a lot of deep regret now. And just really wishes he, he would have listened to her and all that. Howard offers, if there's anything I can do for you, I will do it for you. Blah, 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 blah. Then he says, um, I think he was asking if there was anything that he should know. But he does ask that later on. He visits with the girlfriend and apologizes to her how he treated her and how he treated Shannon. And basically, is there anything that she needs to know? And she goes through her timeline of certain things, uh, even about being obsessed with Howard. And the girlfriend said, I'm just leaving that alone. You know, it was just a lot of stuff that he was going through. I don't know if Captain Burke on going to dig into anything or not, but oof, who knows? But glad he, I'm glad that he did apologize for how he treated them. Uh, Juke uh, comes by Canaan's. There's these dudes that are surrounding the door as bodyguards. And she basically said, get the out of my way. I can be here. Canaan lets her in. They start talking. Ronnie's there too. Um, but basically, Juke says, Aisha told me what you did. And they started tussling a little bit. Don't be doing that. Um, He's, she's seeing Ronnie over there. It's like, what are you doing? Why are you doing all this? You're doing this stuff, and none of this is proving to your mother that you're really the man that you say that you that you're trying to portray right now. I agree. <laughs> um, Ronnie asks Kanan after Juke leaves, "Do you want me to talk to her?" And Kanan's like, uh, "Don't talk with my family. They have nothing to do with this." Uh... Ronnie find, uh, follows Vanessa and basically said, you know, you need to be careful around here. Jerome only has you left. Da, 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 da. It was a, a subtle warning that I'm going to get you <laughs> um, if you don't pipe down. Uh, Lou, is, Lou is at the bar. His mom comes and needs some cash. Uh, Rock is running low. And then she's like, this is all you got? I heard that you run in this club over here and this is what they're providing you? Just very, 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 very down talking. And I didn't like that whatsoever, Mom. But she's been like that. And again, she's like, your dad was in his club all this time and he ended up dying. This is where he, this is the reason why he died. And um, Lou's like, this isn't why he died. <laughs> this is probably his safe haven out of all places. He didn't say that, but that's what I'm concluding. Um, Mom leaves with her negative tale. Juke ends up telling Rock what's all going on with Kaden. Um, obviously, in the next episode, we see that Rock is going to try to stop some of the stuff that's happening. Um, so, Kaden goes by Crystal, and it looks like they are going to hook up. 
that's going to cause some crap within the group because that's part of the reason why she went to Kanan, uh, Juke did, because she knows that this is going to cause trouble. And then the inevitable happened. Lou had to go back to Scrappy's mom and kill her. I don't know what Lou's going to happen. Hopefully he don't drink himself to death. But I heard from the original power that all the family's still alive, except, of course, Juke in the end. So I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm enjoying this season. Glad it has picked up. I appreciate everyone for coming to my channel. Again, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and also share this video and leave your comments below. Tell me what you think of this episode and my commentary. Until the next one, peace.